Hi everyone, thanks for being here to watch our Explore Architecture series. Um, this has been a collaboration with AA Kansas City as well as NOMA Kansas City Education Outreach um, Committees. And so this is a conjunction with our published Explore Architecture Career Guide. The goal of our committees in this collaboration is to expose surrounding area schools and Kansas City youth to design and architecture and to explore what you have to do to become an architect. So today we're going to be talking about design thinking. Design thinking is a tool that we use to solve problems creatively. It requires identifying and understanding the user and then begin to align those elements with their needs to reach a solution. Totally not a linear process, right? It's iterative, it's fueled by an open mind and I think a creative spirit. In my experience as architects, we can develop our design thinking skills by engaging and empathizing with the people that we serve, by making an observation, asking ourselves why it's that way, listening, and then testing our ideas. So design thinking is used at work every day, from brainstorming sessions with the community, clients, coworkers, even having charrettes, doing surveys, workshops, the more feedback and connection you begin to have with people, it starts that process of unlocking items to get you closer to what the end user actually needs. Within the design thinking process, sketching, models, and diagrams are some of the ways that designers visually express abstract ideas. Design thinking can help visualize a solution to a problem. Design thinking is essential to architects. It builds this bridge to the people we're designing for. So we want to be intentional, we want to be productive with our design solutions. Mm -hmm. So for those watching, perhaps it's most directly relatable through their STEAM curriculum. They're learning about science, technology, engineering, arts, and math every day. But we know that future careers are going to require more than a rote understanding of these topics. Their success will require creativity and innovation in their application. STEAM and design thinking can work hand in hand. Thank you for joining us. We hope you learned something about design thinking and STEAM. And be on the lookout for more videos. If you want more information, check out our websites. See you guys next time. <laughs>